We continue to follow breaking news. Hundreds of protesters arrested in New York City after police swarmed encampments and buildings on Columbia and City College's campuses. 282 arrests in total. 173 at City College, 109 at Columbia. Mayor Adams and the NYPD just giving us an update. Our job is to keep people in our city safe, and the NYPD is ready to do their job anywhere and anytime we're called upon. They try to lock us out, but the NYPD and the people of the city of New York will never be locked out, and we will always work together to keep our city safe. Wow. So that was a remarkable moment in the news conference yeah. that just wrapped up about an hour ago. NYPD Deputy Commissioner of Operations Kaz Daughtry joins us now to continue the conversation. Deputy Commissioner, thanks for joining us here. I do want to jump yeah, into some so of the much. I want to yeah. jump into some of the details because we're also going to play some video that you captured of what was happening last night in the operation to clean out Hamilton Hall there. I'm interested in that specifically because the mayor made this point and other officials made it as well that the initial people that went into that hall were outside agitators or professionals. Can you help us understand what that means? How do you know these people from previous protests and who were these people? Yep, we, we have uh, definitely seen un, uh, and identified some of the outside agitators that were on the campus. We are uh, in the process of uh, going through them methodically, the, the individuals that we've seen. And when uh, the commissioner from counterterrorism is ready to make an announcement, she will. But I personally seen them because uh, I was physically on the ground and I, I personally seen the outside agitators. And these outside agitators are just radicalizing our students, you know. How do, how, just ask yourself, how, how do these Columbia students know how to barricade doors, barricade, you know, moving property from the third floor down, moving vending machines from the second floor down to the first floor, strategically putting them uh, to uh, uh, inside of the Hamilton Hall, setting up booby traps for our cops because they knew eventually we were going to move in. Just ask yourself that. So, Deputy Commissioner, just to follow up on that, so you're saying that that the NYPD, other officials have spotted these exact individuals at other protests doing similar things, and that's how you know they're what you describe to be on the professional level of creating the chaos that we saw. A absolutely. I mean, we are seeing this on other sides of the the, the, uh, the globe. This, there is a mastermind behind this, and I'm extremely confident that our commissioner from counterterrorism will identify that person. Now, now, Deputy Commissioner, these outside people that you speak of, um, are we saying, or can you say yet, if uh, these students have been seeking them out to help them become more organized in their messaging? Or are you, uh, is there a belief that they could have been the ones who have approached these students right. in an attempt to radicalize them? I, I, I can't speak on behalf of what the students are, are thinking, but mm -hmm. just from the evidence that we recovered from some of the tents were some from, uh, you know, from groups that we have identified, not only here in New York City, but across the globe. And they had pamphlets on how to protest, mm. how to barricade, you know, how to barricade a building. I mean, just some of the sophisticated stuff that they had inside of the tents in regards to protesting was alarming for me. And you have the chain right there, I believe, on your desk. I mean, this is this looks to be a you hearty a hearty chain right there. I mean, th this isn't something that was just lying around. I'm yeah, assuming. Yes. Yeah. Uh, police Commissioner Caban's police department would not be locked out when called upon from Columbia to take uh, action when and, they when they when it, was, it wasn't a protest anymore. Right. And Deputy uh, Commissioner, just to be, you know, before we we lose you, um, do we feel like the knowledge that we have here now? may be useful in preventing situations from developing or rapidly developing in the future. Absolutely. We, this, this, this department, the greatest department in the globe, we learn from every, uh, every encounter that we have. And, you know, as we speak right now in Fordham University, they are setting up tents as we speak, uh, about 50 to 100 people on the lawn, on their property, and we're going to follow the same protocol that we followed from last night. Just look, we could. It was they have egregiously fortified the the, the entries into Ham the Hamilton building, where we had to take out our Bearcat to make it to make a dynamic entry on the, on the second floor. Just just ask yourself, you know, ask yourself what why.
Well, well, Deputy Commissioner, I, I do have to ask uh, one of our reporters, Phil Tate, was out there interviewing one of the demonstrators who appeared not to be detained but was in part of the group that was protesting. And she mentioned that, that there were broken bones caused by the NYPD, teeth bashed in, significant injuries. Were there injuries like that that happened last night? That we're aware uh, of or I, any reported? The, the only injuries from last night were two our police officers. One was a guy... Uh, hit by, I guess, uh, some strap metal from the glass when he was um, making entry into one of the doors, and then one one officer hurt his back. I could personally say that I, I went down after this, uh, after we have taken action at City College and um, Columbia University and went down and personally see the protesters when they were processing them inside of the uh, mass arrest process, processing center located in one police plaza. I did not see any injuries. Actually, to add on to that, the protesters that were arrested were inside of these cells breaking our windows down there. Wow. Okay. Well, okay. Deputy Commissioner Kaz Daughtry, we appreciate your time as always. Thank and you. And hopefully there will be calm that is restored there to the campus as graduation is a couple of weeks away. Yeah. Deputy Commissioner. Thank you. Always a pleasure. Thank you.